Welcome to another episode of IDDA TV. Today we have with us Marcus from Medit. Marcus, nice to meet you. It is my pleasure, Adam. Okay, now I'm going to be less serious now. <laughs> so, um, Marcus, thanks for coming and chatting to us. Um, obviously, we're at XCAD Insights today. Um, we've, we're doing a couple of talks from Medit, uh, but I wanted to chat with somebody from Medit to talk us about some of the really new exciting features coming from Medit. So, tell us what's happening, tell us about the new update. Tell Absolutely. us about what everybody's going to want to matter because of one of these updates. Oh, I guess that's that's uh, easy to tell. Uh, exactly. Thanks, uh, thanks first for having me and yeah. having this quick uh, quick chance to introduce us, introduce the scanner and the new features. Uh, as you saw on our booth earlier, we have some major um, new things coming, which will be very exciting and can be seen on our booth already. Mm -hmm. Which is first, I guess, and most exciting, the uh, new software for for Mac, yeah. for our Apple software which uh, will make us the only scanner on the market which is able to scan with Mac. And this is not with a mirrored window ver Windows version on the Apple, yeah. but with the Mac OS itself. Do you know what? I think a lot of people underestimate the demand for a Mac. And you see like there's arguments with the Mac that, you know, on, on, on the Medic group, on our group and places like, how do you want to run a scanner from a Mac? But I know I'm a big Apple fan. I know Michael Lee is. And do you know what? It's an elegant way of doing it. If you just want to scan and you've got an Apple book, a uh, MacBook, MacBook Pro, whatever, with an M1, M2, or whatever, then you know you can run it really elegantly. And I've, I've played with the software. It's gorgeous. It's smooth. So you know, you've got a light, easy to run laptop, which if it fits around your lifestyle, then that's what it's for, right? Absolutely. Uh, I couldn't agree more. And I think, you know, on those Facebook groups and so on, there's always the people would speak up who do not want something. Yeah. But and they want to run Windows software and that's fair enough. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the thing. I mean, so. you don't have to use it. Uh, we are just happy as always to, to give more options and to yeah. give you more options and let you choose what you, what's the best for you. And yeah. uh, I think we see a trend, especially for for new practices, new dentists yeah. who really like the sleek design of a Mac and yeah. uh, who like that whole. I mean, you know, also you as a patient, if you yeah. come into the clinic and you see you know everything is clean sleek. and white and sleek and uh, and that's the apple thing yeah you know you can go with the same theme also in your in uh, on the chair well i'm going to tell you a secret here right so in my clinic uh that i set up in north manchester i've got a load of apple max that i set up when it was god this must be seven eight years ago and i got them because they look sleek but back then that's everything was intel based so i ran windows off them because they need the Windows practice management software. There are some Mac softwares, but it was the x-rays, everything else that was running with it. So it was Windows running on a Mac, but it looked sleek. So listen, I can sympathize with people who want to run it on a MacBook. Exactly. And then, it looks good. Right. And yeah. now you don't have to do the extra step. Go yeah. the extra mile to have the Windows on your Mac, yeah. but just do it directly. I know we can sideload to an iPad. And I yes. don't know whether you're going to tell me a truthful answer here, because I don't know if you can. Do you think there's the possibility of it running direct on an iPad in the future? <clears throat> Not yet. Not yet? Um, That's a good answer. So, <laughs> as you know, Michael Lee and his team, they're always very eager to, the boundaries, to, right? absolutely, to push the boundaries, to, yeah. to introduce new stuff, and I'm sure they're working on it as well. Yeah. Uh, for the moment, it's it's not in the first version, but yeah. as you also saw man, many of our other apps, yeah. uh, they do improve over time. So I can't say yes because I don't know, honestly, yeah. but uh, I wouldn't say no either. No, I mean, realistically, if you've got a big, you know, iPad Pro, sing, excuse me, <coughs> single screen, single cable, or wireless or whatever running with an iPad, beautiful. Straight airplay projection to a TV show patient. I guess that's uh, that would be the end game. Absolutely. Yeah, that's true. So, Tell us the other features. We've got Medit 3.0 coming out, so Medit Link. What are the new features with that? Yes, we do. So, um, of course, for once, we do improve the existing features as we always do. But I think one of the most uh, exciting and most important new features would be the new um, jaw movement yeah. uh, feature we have, yeah. which is in, in the occlusion stage. Yeah. Uh, you can also record the movement of the jaw, not only the occlusion, but also with the scanner, it records the, the movement, which then also obviously you can you can send to your lab or you can send to your uh, to your next software to to work with it. To work with I it. guess that's the the most exciting new feature yeah. since this is a very helpful changer, feature. Really. Also, yeah, also for for you as a person who needs to work with the, with the files. Yeah, I mean, look, we you know we've we worked as you know a company, we've worked as an education and turned with. <coughs> I'll cut that bit. Um, <laughs> And we've worked with a few different people with, you know, ModJoy, SDR Matrix, some of the other 
dynamic inclusion software uh, and hardware companies, which they're, they're great and they're really lovely to be able to transfer through to Exacad. But you know, the downside is the cost, and to be able to have that feature in something which you can get from the 10,000 with an i600 is it's a game changer for people. So, what a change, huh? That's what we believe, absolutely. Yeah. And that's also why we want to make this offer and why we want to make it uh, for free, yeah. especially all those apps, all those additional features, because we think the market still has to grow quite a bit and there's still too many people who yeah. either don't believe in it or do not want to work digitally, which yeah. uh, in 2022, it, it blows my mind how you cannot go that way. Exactly. And obviously, uh, an expensive software will never appeal to you. Yeah. But for us, you know, you have the scanner. You don't even have to have the scanner. As you know, you can just download MeditLink. You can try everything. It. You can use the apps. You and can the use the software. Apps. I mean, yeah. the apps are beautiful. And there's no the, additional the, cost. For us with the teaching, you know, oh, some of the of course. courses like uh, 3D printing. We used to cover a lot of mesh mixer and some of the more basic mm -hmm. free software that people can use. Um, but reality is now, even if you've got a different scanner, if you want to do things like model making, why not use Metal Link? Metal Link is beautiful. It's I think fast, so. Streamlined, easy to use. Absolutely. And in my yeah. opinion, uh, as you mentioned, the model builder I think is one of our strongest, uh, strongest yeah. apps these days because it's just it's so simple. Yeah. You have five clicks. You have your model. You can directly print it. You can, you can customize it. You can put your name. You can do any information you want, which is great. Yeah. And uh, as you said, it's for free. I mean, other softwares, of course. We don't have as many features yeah. as an Exocad model builder or something else. Yeah. But uh, you also don't have to pay thousands of euros for it. We're going to make it quick because we've got Patrick is going to be talking with uh, Chris over in the uh, of one course. of the lecture theaters in a sec. Uh, but one of the last things let's talk about what's put you on the spot next three to six months. Anything exciting coming? <laughs> Can you so tell there's us? Uh, there's two reasons why I can't tell you. Okay. Um, the, the first reason is. Um, because, as you know, I'm, I'm in sales and business development yeah. uh, and our R&D tries to tell us, you tell me tell as anything. little as possible yeah. because they know I'm the one talking too much. Fair enough. So I, I wouldn't know for the first, for the start. Yeah. And second, the things I know, uh, I guess, you know, there should be some secrets as well Good and some, some excitement. Right. But there will be new things, that's for yeah. sure. That's nice. That. And you know what? I mean, even, even just the general software, I was playing around with the 3.0 software the last few days. Um, it's coming out. What, May 13th? Yes. Um, I don't know about if I'm right saying this, but I think the bite scan feature, the scanning was faster. Um, so there's some tweaks there. There's definitely been some improvements, especially locking on with things. So, you know, and it's already a smooth, gray scanner. So I think people are really going to like that. That's true. Uh, yeah. I mean, as, as you know, as we are more focused on the software rather than the hardware, yeah. uh, we still have a lot of room for improvement in the optical features or optical parts built into the scanner. Yeah. So um, yeah, Improvements. software is everything and yeah. uh, we'll keep working on it. Excellent. Well, it's been lovely chatting to you, Marcus. My pleasure. Hope you enjoy the rest of Insights. And we'll Same see you for soon. you. All Absolutely. Right. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>